The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and Nodulator XL. Baba beans and they are very short. What is going on here? <laughs> this is an indication of what happens when you don't get enough moisture on a faba bean crop. Um, normally faba beans in central Alberta, especially in the in the black soil zones, would be you know five, six feet tall, sometimes over my head. Um, but this year we just haven't had a lot of moisture in this area. We've had you know enough to get an okay crop, but certainly not enough. This is an indication, or should I say proof, that faba beans really are a moisture loving crop. So it, they tend to do better in areas where there's a lot of moisture. And if you don't get the moisture, you don't get the, the height, you don't get the seed set, you don't get any of those things that uh, what we see a typical faba bean crop. Um, are we getting near desiccation timing? We're getting close. We're getting close. What we recommend um, with Alberta and Agriculture and Forestry is when the crop has about 80% of the lower paws starting to turn black, okay? And then what, usually around that stage, you'll see the middle of the crop still quite yellow and the top might even be still green. So you'll come in and normally you would see black, pods, you would see some yellow kind of colored pods, and then you see green pods at the top. So that does make making the call whether or not you should desiccate a little bit trickier. But that's kind of what we recommend. And you know that it's not too early. If you can pull a pod off the plant and you can split it open, okay? And when you split the seed with your fingers, if it goes to absolute mush in your fingers, that means that the top pods are not ready to um, be desiccated. And if you desiccate a crop with the green pods still like this at the top, you'll get nothing. These seeds will come through the combine all shriveled and small and you won't get anything out of them. Usually the best, the best timing is when the pods at the top, even though they're still quite green, are what we call fat seed. They're, they're completely rounded and they've um, reached what we call a, a, a state where they can they can mature into a crop versus go to absolute mush. So they might be still very green in color, but if you can split them apart and they break into two even halves, then you'll know that they've got the meat or the substance there and the moisture level is low enough that if you spray the crop with a desiccant, then you'll likely get um, some seed out of these top pods, even though they still look very green. We recommend desiccation for faba beans in the central Alberta area no later than about September 10th. And the reason we say that is because of frost. Now, frost is probably one of our worst enemies when it comes to faba bean this late in the season. If frost comes in and hits the crop, you're going to get a lot of seed that is going to go into absolute mush because um, the frost crystals will actually cause the seed to just erupt into nothing and you'll get nothing out of it and the ones that uh, maybe do have a little bit of firmness to them they're going to be black and of course we know with faba beans that the biggest um, the biggest market for faba beans is human consumption and they will not accept those black seeds so it's kind of one of those calls we have to kind of look at the crop take a look at the calendar keeping in mind that frost anytime after the middle of September in central Alberta is very very common so then you kind of have to make a call to aim for your yield potential which is in the bottom and just don't wait for the stuff on the top. 